Morning, Carmela. And it is easiest to put me on speaker view in that top right corner, unless you want to see everyone. If you want to see everyone, that's always welcome too. But it can be kind of distracting. It's just like in a live yoga class when you see 80 people and you're like trying to look all around. So speaker view in the top right corner. I'll make sure everyone is muted. Oh, Shannon, hi. Hi, Christina, yay. We got Minnesota and Michigan in the house. Hannah, hi Hannah. All right, we'll give it one more minute before we get started. If this is your first Zoom class with me, playing your own music is optional. So you can have it in the background if you'd like or otherwise there won't be music during class. A yoga prop is nice to have anything from a pillow, a blanket, a block, a stack of books, a chair, anything can be helpful. Put me on speaker view in the top right corner and I'll make sure everyone is muted. Hi, Emily. Yay. And as always, right, everything we do in practice this morning is optional. I always want you to listen to your body. So if something doesn't feel good or right or just isn't working for you, you're always welcome to skip it. All right, we are gonna begin in fetal position on your right side. So you're gonna lay on your right side with your right upper arm as a pillow and your knees cozy in towards your chest. So take your time to get there. You never wanna feel hurried in class. So bring your knees close up towards your chest so your lower back gets some space. Head is supported by your upper arm. Eyes open or eyes closed is completely up to you. And this is a way to just begin again this morning. All right, from the first pose any of us are ever in. Right, we spend nine months in this pose. So it should feel really comforting this morning. Easy, slow breaths to begin. It can be in through your nose and out through your mouth. Watch where your mind goes first thing in the morning. If it's easy to tune into your breath. Or maybe there's a nice sound around for you to focus on. Taking these first sets of breath into your lower back. So right at the top of your pants or your shorts, feeling the lower back expand on your in-breath and feeling your lower back relax on your out-breath. Watching if any portion of your breath feels sharp or catching this morning. Maybe that's the space between the inhale and the exhale. Or maybe it's the space between the exhale and the inhale. Taking your time, spending one more minute here, slowing down your breath, slowing down your mind a little. If 
feeling that expansiveness on the lower back at your in-breath and allowing the breath to soften as you exhale. Taking your time from your fetal position, bringing both arms out in front. You can always look at me for a visual. So you're gonna have left hand on top of right, still on your right side. So you're still in this fetal position. Your head might hang just a bit, left hand on top of right. You're gonna inhale, slide your left fingers along the inside of your right arm, open up into a spinal twist. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna come from your side into a spinal twist. And then exhale, you're gonna take it back onto your side. So your left fingers trace back towards your right hand. So you're back on your right side. Yeah, there you go. Inhale, open back up to your spinal twist, turn and look at your left hand. And then exhale, you're gonna turn back onto your right shoulder, reaching your left arm a little farther than your right. And you're gonna keep that going. Inhale, open up into your spinal twist. And then exhale, come back onto your side, reach your right arm a little farther than your left. Just gonna continue this on your own breath from spinal twists, back into bija, seed pose, reaching your left arm farther than your right. Just a nice way to ease into the spine this morning. So exhale brings you back onto the right shoulder. Inhale, maybe opening up a little farther, looking towards your left fingers. And taking this two more times. Inhale and exhale. No hurry. Moving with your breath. Good, the next time your left hand on top of your right. Really reach those left fingers a little bit farther, a little bit farther. And then last open twist, reaching your left arm, spinal twist, arms out to a T. We're gonna hang here for three breaths, in through your nose. Big sigh out through your mouth. Breathing in through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. One more, really drink it in and allow it out. From your spinal twist, exhale knees to center so you're fully on your spine, toes up towards the ceiling or sky. Breath in here. Exhale knees over to the left side. So you're going to begin on that left spinal twist, arms out to a T. Nice, everybody. Take an inhale here, soften through the right shoulder. And now switching to the other side. Exhale, reaching the right fingers a little farther than the left, coming onto your left shoulder. And then inhale, opening up into your spinal twist, looking towards your right hand. So an exhale brings you back onto your side, reaching right arm farther than your left. Inhale, opens up into the twist. And it might feel really sticky this morning. Maybe it feels really bound up in your middle spine and shoulder blade area. So you may need to slow it down a bit. You may need to go just a little bit swifter. It's all up to you and your breath rhythm. So exhale back onto your side. Inhale, opening up spinal twist. Maybe it starts to feel a little bit softer on this side because you've already done the first side. Good, really begin to reach your right fingers farther than your left when you come onto your shoulder blade. Last two times this way. Notice how your face is reacting to these movements. And then one more time, reaching right arm farther than your left arm, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then inhale, open up to the spinal twist, turning your head to look over towards your right fingers. Yeah. Letting your body settle into this twist. Inhale, bring your head back to center. Exhale, bring your knees to center. Gently set both feet on the floor, preparing for bridge. Arms down by your sides. Feet are inner hips with distance, making that parallel number 11. Heels a little closer in towards your bum. As you inhale, your hips come up, your arms come overhead, reaching all the way behind you. So bridge pose up on your inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, peeling your spine down, arms come down beside you at the same time. 
Inhale, coming up, lifting your hips, lifting your spine, arms overhead. Exhale, peel upper back, middle back, lower back. And you'll continue chiming out the lift of your hips and the reach of your arms at the same time. Exhale, moving your lower back down at the same time your arms touch the ground. So inhale, lifting up into bridge, arms overhead. Nice. Exhale, peeling it down. Continuing on your breath. Inhale, lifting up a little higher. Not to the point of strain or struggle, right? That's not what we're looking for in yoga. We're looking to add ease and space. If anything is happening in your knees that feels unproductive, feel free to take your feet a little wider, slightly pointing your toes out. That might ease the tension in the front of the knee and the kneecap. Good, taking a few more. Your arms need to move a little bit quicker than your back because it has more space to go. Mm -hmm. Taking one more, exhale, arms down by your sides, spine all the way to the floor. Good, walk your feet as wide as the mat, knock your inner knees together, constructive rest pose. Yeah, heavy in the shoulders, the back. And just take a moment here, returning to your breath. It's really easy to let your breath just slide out the window. You need to call it back, in and out. Next, inhale, bring your knees apart from one another. Exhale, both knees over to the left side. So making that little pinwheel shape on your side. Good, then your next exhale, knees up towards the ceiling. Inhale, over to the right side. So you're just gonna windshield wipers side to side, wide feet. Continuing to soften into the spine. Remembering that the morning body is different than your body at noon and your body in the evening. But a nice way to neutralize is to twist. One more way, each side, each breath. Returning the knees back up towards the sky or the ceiling, arms back by your side. One more round of bridge. This one's alternating. So first inhale, lift your back and spine off the ground. Take your right arm overhead. So it's just the right arm over your head, left arm by your side. As you exhale and lower your spine to the ground, the left arm reaches up towards the ceiling and then overhead, right arm down. Inhale, lift your spine, switching your arms, right arm overhead, left arm by your side. Exhale, lowering your spine, right arm down, left arm overhead. So it's just one arm. There you go. So you guys got it. Timing out your arms with your back. It's a mindfulness practice to do that. Inhale, always lifting. Using your exhale to lower. Using your belly muscles to slowly lower to your mat. This is a great place to stay. Continuing with this movement. One arm over, one arm down as you lower your spine. Or the next time you lift up, right arm overhead, turn your head to the left. And then as you exhale, lower your spine, left arm overhead, turn your head to the right. Inhale, lifting your spine, right arm overhead, turning your head to the left, onto your left ear. Exhale, lowering your spine, left arm overhead, head turning to the right. If this is too much for your brain this morning, don't worry about it. Just focus on the arms and peeling your spine down. You do not have to add your neck in. Taking four to five more rounds. Again, timing your breath with your movement. Notice if your back is ahead of your arms or if your arms are ahead of your spine. Good, last two, making sure it's even side to side. And when you're finished, you'll return to constructive rest pose, both arms by your side, feet as wide as the mat, bringing your inner knees together and pausing. All 
right, the past four and a half months, we've had one giant pause in the world. And it's good to take pauses throughout your day, pauses throughout your practice to see where you're at this morning. Option to stay here for a few more breaths or separate the knees, returning them side to side for the windshield wiping twists, rolling onto the big and baby toe sides of the feet, only going as far over side to side as feels appropriate for your body this morning. And one final posture on the back, supine, before we move into hands and knees. Picking the knees up over the hips, toes towards the ceiling, fingertips towards the ceiling. So it's just like you're in a tabletop on your back, feeling your belly muscles, your belly button pull down towards the mat. Taking bird dog on your back, inhale, right leg forward, left arm overhead, and then exhale, returning toes and fingers towards the ceiling. Inhale, right leg, excuse me, left leg forward, right arm overhead. Exhale, coming back, tabletop on your back. So it's bird dog on your back, right leg, left arm, exhale back to center. And there's no need to bring the leg all the way down to the floor if it bothers your lower back. You can just inhale, extend to a 45 degree angle. Use your exhale to pull it back to center. So let me see your bird dogs on your back, yeah. Opposite arm, opposite leg. All right, this is really good for our brains, waking it up this morning. It's going to be good when we're 95 and we don't want to get out of bed, but we still want to do yoga. Mm -hmm. Try not to let the knees pass the hips. So if your thighs are coming towards your face, give them a little push away. Mm -hmm. Opposite knee, opposite arm. Good. Hold the next one out. Bird dog on your back. Hold it, hold it. Don't hold your breath. Always let your air supply come in and go out. Notice if you're massively arching your lower back away from the ground, just a little pelvic tilt, belly button towards the mat. Use and wake the core up. One more breath in. Exhale, return, tabletop on your back. Other side. Just a little hold, continuing to breathe. Noticing if this side feels different. Belly up and in protecting your lower back. Don't get mad in your face right here. Relax your facial features. Good, one more inhale. Your exhale, return to center. Nice job. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You guys did great. Rock a little side to side. And then all the way over onto your right side, tabletop. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Mm -hmm. Flipping your toes underneath, exhale, lifting your knees two inches off the ground, hovering table so your back is flat and parallel towards the floor. Breathe in, exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let your head hang, two breaths here, wider hands, wider feet. On your third inhale, come forward into plank pose, adjusting your feet farther back, Hands still under your shoulders, two breaths in plank. An in and out breath counts as one round. Your third exhale, come back into Adho Mukha, downward dog, walking your feet up, letting your head hang. Now you have four breaths here, downward facing dog. I want you to count them to yourself. Keeping your knees ever so slightly soft. On the fifth exhale, coming back into plank pose. Wide feet, stable shoulders, four breaths in plank pose. Secure your legs, secure your elbows, eyes out ahead of that front edge of your mat. Once you've gotten to that fifth exhale, and don't breathe fast to get it over with, I know that trick. Exhale, downward dog. Six breaths in downward dog, soft knees, heavy head. Counting your rounds. Pressing the hands down and forward. You'll have about one to two more rounds of breath. 
And then you guessed it, come forward, walking your feet back, six breaths in plank pose. Plank is still plank if the knees are down on the ground. Plank is still plank if you need your elbows on the floor, forearms on the floor, dolphin plank. All right, slowing down the breath, watching if you wanna bust out of this plank pose. On your seventh exhale, back into downward dog. And then we go with eight rounds of breath here, head heavy, hands pressing down and forward, not too long of a dog. Yeah, eight breaths. Waking everything up, body, mind, and breath here. Keeping that ever so slight bend in your knees. Feeling your breath in the whole container of your torso, all 360 degrees of your body. If you're like, I'm at breath 10 right now, go ahead and move into plank pose. Eight breaths in plank. Wider feet might feel more supportive on your lower back. Fists may feel better instead of wrists to take out any pressure. Knees down, forearms down. I want you to make it your sustainable plank. Eight breaths. Try not to stink bug and put your bum up in the air. You want to keep your back body at a nice 45 degree angle. It's not forever. You're like, this feels like forever. It's not forever. We're just pausing here. Good. Once you've reached your eighth breath in plank, knees down as wide as the mat, big toes together, child's pose, leaning back. You can make a pillow for your forehead with your hands or your forearms and resting your head there. Child's pose. Oh. Enjoying your breath. Just like you took in that first fetal position, breathe into your lower back, right at that top edge of your pants or shorts, sending your breath in and out. And because I know you guys enjoyed that long extended time in plank and downward dog, we have one more round, 10 breaths in each, right? Just 10 simple breaths. It will equate to about one minute if you're slowly breathing. So return into tabletop, toe slip under, hovering table, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog, head heavy, your 10 slow breaths. Sending your sits bones up and back. There is nothing that says your heels have to ever touch the floor in downward dog. Watch if you're actually counting, if you're just like, I'm gonna wait until Amy Jane says to go into plank. 10 rounds. When you begin that 11th inhale, you find your plank, a plank you know you can hold for about one minute. 10, 11 breaths. Nice, eyes are forward, arms are steady, legs are helping. It might be helpful for you to close your eyes to hang through the lower jaw, drop the tongue heavy in the mouth. And notice if you're trying to muscle through with your shoulders, right? Use your legs, give a little press away from the floor. Some of us it's helpful to dome the upper back. Some of us it's helpful to squeeze the shoulder blades together. You're almost there, I know, it's hard. After your 10th breath, Knees down, Balasana, child's pose. Take a moment to be proud of the work you just did. A minute is a long time. Inhale, return to tabletop, all fours. Exhale, downward dog, hips up and back, big toes touch together. So your eyes are your big toes, little bend in your knees. 
Inhale, left leg up towards the sky or ceiling. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. You can always step it halfway and give it a helping hand. Heart forward, fingertips on the floor. Inhale, slight bend in your right knee. Exhale, step it forward. Come right into a half lift. Half lift, tabletop back sensation, good. Then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms out and up overhead. Come all the way to stand. Exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, arms down by your side, then up overhead, reaching. Exhale, dive with your heart, bend into your knees, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, shoulders back and down. Exhale, fingertips at the top, left leg up and back. Coming back into that runner's lunge, heart forward. Good, flat hands or fists. Exhale, step your right foot back, plank pose, eyes ahead. Breathe in. Exhale, knees down lower, all the way out to your belly. Elbows in towards your sides, forehead to the floor. Inhale, low cobra, lifting your chest and head. No pressure in your hands. Look straight down at the ground. Nice. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, Bhujangasana, low cobra. Hug your elbows in. Light hands. Exhale, release. Flip your toes under. Keep your knees down. Exhale, press into plank. Knees on the floor. Inhale, let your knees lift up off the ground. Exhale, downward dog. Walking the big toes back together. Now we're working on generating some more heat. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky or ceiling. Exhale, step it through your hands. Always can give a helping hand to the foot. Heart forward, fingers down. Inhale, slight bend in your back knee. Exhale, step it up. Halfway lift immediately. Yeah, excellent. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach out and up overhead. Reverse swan dive. Exhale, dive right back down. Lead with the center of your chest, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fingertips down, right leg up and back. Heart forward, preparing for that plank. Flat hands or fists, step it back. Feet at the back, hands at the top. Breathe in. Exhale, knees down lower all the way onto your belly, forehead to the floor, two cobras. Inhale, lifting, light in the hands. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting. Try not to look at the screen here. Look at the floor. Good. Exhale, lower. Feel free to keep your knees down. Tuck your toes. Exhale, press into your plank. High. And we'll meet with knees up. Breathe in. Exhale, downward dog. I'm going to guide you through one more round each side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, stepping forward. Runner's lunge. Fingers down. Heart forward. Exhale, slight bend in your right knee, step it up, half lift immediately. Exhale, fold. Good, everyone. Inhale, reach out and up, stretch towards the sky or ceiling. Exhale, dive it down. Breathe in, half lift, strong shoulders and back. Exhale, hands at the top, left leg up and back. Heart forward. Your next exhale, find your plank. Plank knees down, great. Now, option to, again, bring your knees down lower onto your belly, or bring your knees down chaturanga with your knees on the floor, elbows in towards your side. You can lower to the ground, cobra, or inhale, pull forward and up, upward dog, active legs here. Cobra is great, upward dog is great, both are wonderful, you're breathing. Exhale, make your way downward dog, any way that feels right for your body. And pause here. Breathe. Shake your head side to side or up and down. Big toes return back together. Right leg up on your in breath. Exhale, step it forward, fingers stay down. Heart pulls towards the screen. If it's in front of you, exhale, step it up. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach out and up overhead. Exhale, dive it down, heart forward. Inhale, half up. Exhale, fingertips down. I honestly forgot which leg we're on. I think it's our right leg going up and back. If that feels like you've already done that side, do the other side. And then you'll step back, plank pose, eyes forward. Breathe in. Exhale, knees down, knees up only if you feel level in your back to lower your chest to hover. 
Inhale, pull forward, upward dog. Cobra is the exact same energetic. It might be healthier on your back. Good, active legs. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breath out. Big pause. Ease up into your jaw. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky or ceiling. Exhale, stepping it up. Light fingertips. Slight bend in your back knee. Step up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. Inhale, reach out and up overhead. And then you have the next two minutes to flow on your own. You can do that exact same set with the lunges. You can step or mindfully hop if that's in your practice. If you've had enough of that and you just want to breathe in downward dog or child's pose, I just want you to have two minutes on your own here. Because this practice is incredibly personal. So I want you to make it suit your body for the next couple minutes here. And if you're unsure of where to go, this is a good time to really trust yourself. And explore a little bit. As long as you're breathing and staying attentive to sensations that come up, you're practicing. Maybe the only sound in the room right now for you is your breath, which may be unfamiliar or just something you haven't heard in a while. Just you and your breath. Go ahead and work your way. If you're doing anything asymmetrical, side to side, even it out in the next little bit. We'll meet back in Balasana child's pose only when you feel rounded and complete in your current movements. Good, I like that everyone's taking what they need when they need to. Let an inhale bring you into tabletop all fours. Exhale, simply step the left foot up between your hands. Right toes tucked under, lifting into a runner's lunge, but staying leaning forward in your torso, hands at heart center. So a leaning forward runner's lunge. Mm -hmm. Reach your arms back behind you, interlace your fingers, reach your knuckles back at a 45 degree angle, keep your chin slightly tucked, and feel your belly muscles move towards your lower back for that help and that protection. Inhale, release the clasp of your hands, reach your arms up by your ears, still leaning forward, not putting any excessive pressure on the lower back, but trusting your legs, right? They might start to work a little bit here. Hug through your inner thighs. One more breath in. Exhale, hands from your left foot. Step back, just downward dog. Just downward dog. A little wiggle of your tail side to side. Right, when dogs are happy, they wag their tail, so you can wag your downward dog. And then finding a still place for five breaths. Extended arms with soft knees. 
Puppy pose is always an option if the shoulders feel too intense here, knees down, arms forward. It's like that cross between child's pose and downward dog. Big toes walking towards one another. Second side, right leg up on your in-breath. Exhale, stepping it forward. You can always step halfway. Take your right hand to your calf, step it forward. So you're in that lunge shape, hands at your heart, lifting your chest just to a 45 degree. Inhale, reaching your arms back behind. So leaning forward in your lunge. Clasp your hands, switch which index finger, which thumb is on top. Go for that funky grip. Stay leaning forward, reach back through your knuckles, opening up through your collarbones and chest. Try to pull your left hip forward, right hip back ever so slightly. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up, biceps along your ears. Trust your front foot. One more breath in. Exhale, hands come down, framing your front foot. Step back, downward dog. Downward dog again. Puppy pose, knees under your hips, arms walking out ahead. Both are giving you the same energetics. Three breaths here. Walking the big toes together. Really time out your whole in breath with your left leg lifting up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stepping forward. Fingertips stay down, heart pulls forward in this lunge. Mm -hmm. Right hand stays down on the mat, down on the floor, or a block. Inhale, left arm out, up, twisted lunge. Look up towards your left thumb. If that bothers your neck, look down at your right hand. Mm -hmm. Ever so slightly, letting your belly button turn away from your inner left thigh. Nice, everybody. Next inhale, reach a little higher left fingers. Next exhale, rotate from your navel. One more in-breath, exhale, left hand down. Simply step back, downward dog. You're always welcome to take a connection of high to low plank, if that feels appropriate for your body this morning, or just breathe in downward dog. Big toes together, right side, right leg, inhale up. Exhale, bringing it forward between your hands. Fingertips down, find that chest opener here. Left hand staying on the ground, inhale, right arm up and open, twisted lunge, looking up, looking down, breathing fully. Left hand is on the inside of your right foot. Watch if the right knee is spilling out, keep it stacked over your ankle. And really use your breath to turn. Try not to yank it yourself. Just allow the breath to let you fall a little farther back on your exhale. Mm -hmm. Last round. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, leaning back just a hair more. Right hand down. This time, step forward. Uttanasana, fold. Soften your knees more. Paint a half circle side to side. So fingertips on the ground, head is super heavy. Half circle side to side. Side to side. Remember, the more you bend your knees, the closer the ground will come to you. Isn't that magical? Gently come to center, come to still. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold it here. Really roll your shoulders down your back. Feel your heart moving forward. Arms out to a T, out to the sides. Let an inhale bring you all the way up to stand, arms overhead. Exhale, hands down through heart center, big toes come together. Find a focal point for your eyes. As your right foot stays on the mat, inhale, left knee comes up, out to the side, and down. Left foot steps down, inhale, right knee up, out, and down. Back to the first side. Up, out, and down. Try and keeping your chest lifted, shoulders back. 
is you're just starting to move into your hip sockets. If you feel a lot of clicking happening, just don't go as far out to the side, just a little bit and down. Focus on the straight leg as well, letting you hold your balance. If it feels better to have your hands on your hips, change your hand position. Really go inhale, leg up, exhale out, and both feet down. If you're like, oh, I got this. Try it with your eyes closed. There's always another layer to add. Sometimes the layer is necessary, sometimes it's not. So closing your eyes, it's not a necessary layer. Open those papers back up. Watch if you're just rushing through it. You really want to stabilize your standing leg as you go up, out, and down. One more time, each leg. We're basically knocking on the door of the hip socket. Say, hey, hip socket, something's about to happen. Feet back together, big toes. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down, hands on the hips. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, out to the side, pause. Find your tree pose. Kickstand with your toes down, heel at your inner ankle, calf, or up above your knee. Any position with your hands where you feel stable. Maybe you're looking out on a horizon line. We've got some people with Lake Michigan in the background. Or maybe there's just a little light fixture in front of you that's a good focal point. Two more breaths here. Heart higher, shoulders down. Try and keep the eyes elevated as you release the left foot. Let that become your anchor to the ground. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, out to the side, pause. And then find your tree pose, kickstand, calf, or bringing it up, just avoiding any excessive pressure on the knee. Hug your shoulder blades together like you're holding one piece of paper between the shoulder blades. Eyes unmoving on that one point of focus. Good, two more breaths. Always calling back on your inhale and your exhale. Good, eyes stay elevated. Release that right foot and shake out through the legs. Shake out through the feet. Maybe you need some shoulder rolls. Maybe you need a quick sip of water. So take what you need. If you need to move through a vinyasa, that's always a welcome. And then feet at the top, palms facing forward, helping that open space in the shoulders. Inhale, reach out and up. Slight tilt back of the head. Exhale, dive it down. Lead with your chest, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, hands at the top, simply step, downward dog. Just a good old downward dog. Exhale, knees down to the ground, tabletop. From tabletop, walk your knees ever so slightly back so you're in that plank pose with your knees down. Exhale, slow lower all the way onto your belly. Forehead to the floor. Release your legs behind. Interlace your fingers at your low back, locust pose, palms together. Inhale, lift your chest, head, lift your hands, lift your legs, only to a height that feels productive. You're here for 10 breaths. All right, we're a society where the back muscles need a little more attention. They can get overstretched. So we're trying to strengthen them here. Tuck your chin. There we go, leading with the very top of your head. It doesn't matter if your hands lift up off your bum as long as you're reaching back through your knuckles. I know it's a long time, you're probably sweating. Uncomfortable is fine, but not pain, right? Lightning bolts of pain are a signal to come down and out of the posture. 
If you need a moment, take a moment. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. One side of your face to the floor. Release your hands. Ooh. Exhale. Any counter movement you need might just be staying here or bending your knees. Windshield wipering side to side. With active ankles. Active ankles. Yeah. Good. One more time. Only five breaths this one in locust pose. Switch the interlace. So opposite index finger, opposite thumb on top. Inhale. Feel long before you lift. Yeah, there you go. Close the space between your palms. Wrists are flush with your forearms. Five breaths. Now it's probably only three or four. Crown of the head is leading. One more in breath, make it long. Exhale, slowly release onto your belly. Relax through your jaw. Take any counter movement. Stillness is also completely welcome. Hands come underneath your armpits. Exhale, press back into a seated position. Take your time. If hips towards heels feels like a lot on your knees, you can stand on your shins. Good. Might be a time to look at the screen as I'm going to demonstrate rabbit pose, which is our inversion for today. You'll come to the crown of your head. Neck is long. You try to get your forehead towards your knees and then arms can go straight up towards the ceiling or interlace. Right, but hips are pretty much over your knees. You can take them wider. Neck is long, arms up, or fingers separated. So you're coming right onto the crown of your head. If you've never put that kind of pressure, please be careful as you do so. We're gonna take an entire minute in rabbit pose. Neck should be long. So maybe knees a little wider to give yourself space. Neck long right on the crown of your head. Right? We forget about this pose. Long neck, yeah. If you've got a ponytail and it's in the way, move that ponytail. Some of us are on the forehead, right on the crown of the head. Yeah, move that. Just move that bun out of the way. It's okay to take your hair down. Still breathing. This time, knuckles are reaching up above. Up above. They don't need to come over your head or anything crazy like that. Just up. Shoulders away from your ears. Three breaths to go. Longer in the neck, right? Call on your giraffe, long in the neck. Release the hands first, right by your ears, support yourself, come right back into child's pose, support your head. So flat hands or forearms, keeping support for your neck. Our neck is the most delicate vertebrae in the body. So that's why this is a really great place to start or really great posture to return to if you haven't done it in a while. To feel some of that upside down benefit without the fear of putting all your body weight on your neck. Hmm. Three more breaths here. Inhale, tabletop. Scoot your feet over to one side, sit to the opposite hip, and then bring your legs out in front, Dandasana staff pose. So just sit to one side, slowly bring those legs out in front, give a little wiggle side to side, or you can literally take, right, we've all got flesh back there, move it out to the sides, find your sits bones. Yeah, it's okay, it's good. You gotta have a little badonka donk back there. Reach your arms up towards the sky or ceiling, shoulders down, chest high. 
Exhale, arms down by your sides. Fingertips towards the ground. Lean with your heart. Exhale, just a little bit of a lean. So you wanna keep that elevation in your heart, extension in your back as you lean forward. Next inhale, come back up, arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, arms down by your sides. Slight lean forward, keeping your sits bones down on your mat. Inhale, lifting up. And again, you don't have to go really far here. Exhale, arms by your sides simultaneously, a little lean forward. Feel free to bend your knees if your hamstrings are having a conversation with you. One more time. Inhale, arms up, chest up a little higher, best posture. Exhale, arms down, a little bit of a lean. Try not to lead with your chin. Keep your chin slightly tucked. Relax through your jaw. One more breath in and out. As long as you're not collapsing the shoulders, you can go a pinch farther forward. And then inhale, come up. Find a comfortable cross-legged seat, maybe non-dominant shin in front. Lift it in your chest. This is probably gonna be a new one for most of you. Hands together at your heart. Your middle finger's right under your chin. Let me get a little closer to you guys. Middle, middle finger's right under your chin. So the thumbs are a little higher than your sternum. Keep your middle fingers under your chin. Inhale, elbows up, forearms parallel to the floor. Exhale, drop your middle finger away from your chin just two inches. Breathe in. Exhale, turn to the left, keeping your bum on the ground. Now, right forearm is gonna slide over top your left. It doesn't have to go all the way, just left fingers. So from here, just a little bit over to the side. So you really have to use your back muscles and your breath to turn. Exhale, last piece is to turn your head over the left shoulder. All right, you're gonna feel your back muscles working. Inhale, sit up a little taller, right on your sits bones. Breathe in. Exhale, come back to center. One more time on this side. So you have your forearms parallel to the floor. Breathe in. Exhale, turn to the left from your belly button. Breathe in, sit a little taller. Exhale, right forearm starting to slide, right fingers a little bit over top. And then the last piece, slightly turning your head. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You'll feel that left shoulder blade move in towards your spine. One more breath in. Exhale, release and simply just sit. Palms up towards the ceiling, eyes closed. Feeling a bit of that spiral unwind. Open your eyes, switching across to the shins. Second side. Begin, again, middle fingers under your chin so there's no throwing back, doing the Pez head. Head right on the center. Inhale, elbows up. Don't keep it this high. Drop your fingers a few inches. Breathe in. Exhale, turning to the right. Not forcing yourself farther than you need to go. Then left hand starts to slide over top the right hand, looking over your right shoulder. Nice, stay tall in your spine, right on your sits bones. One more breath in. Exhale, unwind, come back to center, forearms parallel to the ground. Notice if your shoulders are crowding up, drop them down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, turn from your belly button, left elbow forward. Breathe in, exhale, left hand starts to slide on top of the right, look over and back, just enough. Good, feeling your right shoulder blade move in towards your midline. You've got two more breaths. A little taller in your chest, higher up. Yep, one more inhale. Exhale, slowly unwind and just pause, palms facing up, eyes closed. The simple seat to reflect how that feels. Stay light but lifted in your center, your spinal column. Big breath in, open your eyes up. Exhale, sigh, relax your shoulders. Hands come behind you for support. Feet out in front. 
coming onto your elbows, moving back onto your spine. So coming one elbow down at a time, shifting your hands towards your thighs for support, rolling one vertebrae at a time all the way onto your back, finding butterfly. Soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. The farther the feet are away from the groins, the more relaxed it will feel in the hips. Hands either on the hip bones or palms up towards the ceiling. And start to soften through your breath. Starting to find a little bit more ease here. Thanking the effort you've given. And now accepting in more of the rest we all need. Open mouth sigh. Just take a couple more of those. Noticing those habitual areas in your own body that tend to hold. And for the next minute or so, you're welcome to stay in reclined butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana. Move into any final posture or stretch that your body's asking for. Or go right into Shavasana. Any space just moving towards a calmer, quieter way to be. You take as long as you need to get to that space. So when you do find your final relaxation, you wanna be able to allow yourself to drop into that more relaxed state. being comfortable yet rested. Allowing the breath to find its own rhythm of in and out. I'd like for you to imagine a juicy piece of fruit. Maybe it's your favorite one, certain color, one that you've been eating a lot of. And imagine this vibrant piece of fruit resting in a crystal clear bowl. And that crystal clear bowl is simply resting on a table. Nothing else is around it. It's just that glistening piece of fruit, clear bowl, clean table. Notice the color of that fruit, the way the light hits it. How the fruit is held by the bowl, but the bowl is also held by the table.
your brain is the piece of fruit. You can allow your brain to be held by the bowl of your skull here. And your skull is supported by the earth. So again, that piece of fruit, your beautiful mind, allow it to be held in that crystal clear bowl of the skull. and the skull surrendering to the earth, being supported by what's directly underneath you. are welcome to stay right as you are, right where you are, to end your practice. Or gently inhale and exhale, letting small movements come into your body. Maybe those small movements become a little bit larger, a little bit more circulating through your joints. Stretching, reaching, yawning, ah. staying in your resting shape or coming to one final seated position. Hands at heart center. When you do get there, elbows soft towards your waist. Eyes gently closed. And no matter what position you're ending in, bring about that visual one more time. That single piece of fruit supported by the bowl, which is supported by the table. Taking three breaths together in through the nose, out of your mouth. Again. Once more. Thank you all so much for your time, your energy, and your practice. Namaste. It's so lovely to see everyone in so many different places. If anyone has any questions, I'm around. You can unmute yourself or send me a chat. I love all of you. And I'll be here again next Friday. I'm planning on starting a Monday, not quite yet, but in a couple weeks, but I will let you all know via email when that happens. Oh, look at that lake back there, Katie. That's so beautiful. Oh. I feel it. I feel like there's no water in New Mexico. I'm like, I want the water. Oh, Jill, you know, you're like, there's, there's not water here. Oh. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Amy Jane. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Glad Thank you made it, Lisa. Bye, Tina. Bye. Bye. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being in class. Thank you. This was great. Yay. <laughs> Good to see you. You too.